bass fishing is everything to me. It's medicine for my mind. It doesn't matter if I'm catching a hundred fish or zero fish. Just being out there is my happy place. I was bred for best. What's up guys? I'm trying to be quiet. I don't want to wake my son up. It's the morning of the tournament. About to uh, grab my garments and head on out. It's 4.30 a.m. It's cold outside. I got poop. Stomach. I got food. Alright, sorry about that guys. Heading out to the truck now. I'm glad I got that out of the way with though, not out on the water. So feel a little better. The last run in there. Rain bag with my garments in it. Almost forgot to unplug the battery. All right, guys, we're uh, ready to go. Got the battery charger unplugged. Got all the gear, I think. It's showtime. So let's get it. We out here. How many uh, bass are we gonna catch today, Ron? Hopefully two. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully two. One apiece. I'll be, I'll be happy. Beautiful morning. 46 degree water temperature. Oh, it's 46 now? Yeah. Hey, it beats working. Okay, oh. a lot of boats. Thank everybody coming for a wonderful moderation here at Buckeye Lake. Welcome to the gym.
Three, four, five. Three, four, five. You're good, Bob. Now let's get it. What's up guys? Heading back now. Only thing I caught today was a damn sunburn. It was tough fishing out there. Um, I pulled out probably two hours before the tournament even ended. It just got too windy. You know, the Bass Tracker Classic XL, it does what it does. It's a good little boat, but you know, you get too much wind, it it, it just can't handle it. It just, it blew me everywhere. And, and I just wasn't having no no success I mean if, if I would have had a couple fish or if I would have had a bite even I never even had a bite if I would have had a bite maybe if I had a fish I would have found somewhere I would try it harder to find somewhere to tuck away and finish the tournament but um, yeah I checked out early I wanted to get out of there before the madness happened at the ramp I just wanted to get out of there um, it was we had two and a half probably three footers there um, waves there towards the end and it was just it was just too much for my boat and, and I just I just wasn't confident in it you know, I'm a big believer in confidence, and if you ain't got confidence in what you're doing or where you're fishing at, you just you're going to have a hard time. If you don't believe in it, you're just not going to you're not going to catch them. And I never once felt like I was in the right spot. I never once felt like I was on fish. Um, so I just I fished it hard, and I threw a lot of baits at them, and I fished it hard, but I just never felt confident. So I did snap a rod in half, $130 St. Croix rod on a damn bush it wasn't even a branch it wasn't even a stump it was like a weed I tried to pull the jig out of it and it literally just snapped in half so um it was a good experience though um got to catch up with some old friends i just left the way in i actually went home took the boat home came back eight pounds won it three fish nobody had one guy had more than three fish he had four fish for six pounds Big bass was four pounds. The guy that had big bass was the one that won it. He had two other fish other than the four pounder. So he won tournament and big bass. But it was it was tough out there. I mean, it was 40, 43, 44 degree water temperature this morning. And I mean, I just, fingers hurting, toes hurting cold this morning. It was just, it was just tough conditions, you know. And um, you know, the bass tracker is just, what it is i mean it's not a boat to be out there fighting you know 25 mile an hour winds comfortably it's not and like i said i didn't have no confidence in the conditions i you know if i was on fish if i would have found fish the week prior 
or you know weekends prior you know I might have been a little more because they don't they're not going to go far when these cold fronts come in you know they're going to stay in the areas that they're they were at you know they you know but I, I've never even found fish out there you know I just don't have a comp I don't have the confidence in that body of water I don't know it well enough anymore like I used to when I was younger and um yeah that's just where we're at so I, I'm not going to waste I can tell you this I'm not going to waste any more time fishing that lake during peak um spring bass fishing season you know i'm not i'm gonna go to lake erie um hit a couple other lakes here in ohio just you know relatively close but i'm not going to spend a lot more time on that lake i'll fish a couple tournaments you know on tuesday nights or something but i i just i don't know where they're at you know i, I gotta learn relearn that lake and it just wasn't my day you know but i, I had a good time you know it was good getting out the boat handled great you know it handled good i mean i got home safe it you know it ran great i'll tell you what though when i first turned that thing over in the morning when we were on the ramp and i started i turned the motor down and started it while i was still on the trailer um it whew, it like slow cranked it, it was cold it didn't even it took two attempts to get the fire up but once it fired up it was fine so yeah it was I've had better days, we'll say that, but I've had worse days, you know. At least I was out fishing and, you know, not stuck in an office or on a job site somewhere working. So, learned, learned a lot today. And I look forward to the next trip, you know. I look forward to getting to Lake Erie and all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wish I had, you know, some fish to show you, but it ain't there yet. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hit that like button, subscribe, have a good day.